Okay, let's get the oil pan situated right about there. Oh my God, this thing is not tight at all. I wanna position my pan, and I know it's gonna spurt out, so it'll probably come about to here, and then drain in to about here. Let's put a plastic sheet down. I got some plastic sheeting left over from my door panel. And if you want to know more about that, I'll link to it at the end. Yeah. There you go. I like that. Hopefully this will be enough to keep it from dripping on the freshly cleaned concrete. Ugh. My creep is getting in the way. Don't get in the way, you creep. Gently. Don't want to drop the bolt. I hate fishing these bolts out of the oil. Easy. Easy. There we go. One, two, three. Nice. Now as it drains, it's gonna come down lower, so I'm gonna have to move this. See that? Glug, 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 glug. Let's wipe off the bolt really good. I'm supposed to replace this crush washer every single time I change the oil. This one's really in good condition. Oop, it's sneaking over. Now I'm gonna position this one right underneath the oil filter, my second pan. So while that one's dripping, I can get this uh, oil filter out. And where is the oil filter? Right. In there, so it should leak right around here. Surely I'm gonna put some plastic underneath here too, huh? Hopefully I won't need it, but I think I got it covered. Get it? I think it's covered. Okay, pop the hood with my greasy hands. Oh man. Can we see the oil filter from here? This is such a tight space. Ah, way down in there. This one's cool because it's got a little uh, 17 millimeter bolt on the end so I can easily unloosen it. Okay, I got that adjustable here. Let's see if I can get on there. Just to pop it a little loose. There's not a lot of room to work. Ah, this is where the little magnet tool comes in handy when you keep dropping your tools down inside the, come on. There we go, it's moving. Okay, yeah, twisty twisty. Now what I do is I uh, can't find too many of these disposable garbage bags, like trash bags would work. I'm gonna put the bag around the filter. So when I take it off, hopefully not too much oil spills out because this thing is hard to wiggle out. I'm gonna have to do a lot of compromising and wiggling to get this out of the hole there if I don't. When you unscrew it, I'm gonna drop it in facing up. There we go, the oil is Definitely leaking down. Now the bag's dropping. And let's try to pull the plastic bag up around the filter. Now I'm negotiating this oily filter bag. It's gonna be an issue, because I know it doesn't come out this side. So let's try to wiggle it out this side. Ah, damn it, it's leaking. My plastic bag is leaking oil all over the place. So I'm gonna switch it with this bag. That's a better bag. Now it's not leaking all over. How am I gonna get it out? Prop this in here. Let's try to get it out through here. Okay, I got some uh, 10 millimeter here, here, and here. Now, what's inside of here? A whole lot of wires. Let's see, here's a 10 here, 10 there. And is there anything else holding it on? Is that one way down there? Yeah, damn it. Hope this is long enough. Can't even see. What else is holding this down? This is deja vu. I literally feel like I've done this before. Actually, I have. That's why this is broken. Let's push this out of the way. Get this out of the way. Ah, can I squeeze it through here? Let's try to go down. Oh yeah, it, it squeezes by the boot. I was able to push it down by the boot. Oh man, I have to take the beauty cover off. Okay. 
This feels really light. Oh my God. This is just an internal filter replacement. Why did they send me this? This is not the right part. I have no idea what this is. Okay, I'll figure that out. In the meantime, I have all this stuff taken apart and I don't have an oil filter to replace it with. Ran to the dealer and I got a replacement oil filter. Totally different number. Cost me $7 and picked up a replacement crush washer. This is kind of interesting. It's got this like blue film on there. Let's take this off. Oop, throw that in there. And now I'm gonna prime. Nope, there's nothing in there. Ugh. Okay, let's prime the filter by adding some fluid. It's gurgling down, swirl around inside, and then run some oil around the outside. Let's see how much is gonna pour out. Nothing's pouring out. Prime it a little more. Now we get some running out. So now I know the filter's nice and soaked. I'm gonna put the cap back on this so I don't knock it over. Or if I do knock it over, it's not gonna spill. Well, hopefully, getting the new one in there. Look at that. Does that get in there? Ah, still doesn't fit. So maybe if I can get my little reach tool hooked in here. Reach tool. Nice little claw. And I'll feed that up underneath. Let's see if I can feed this up in there. Nope, that didn't work. Actually, I can see it. Okay, let's see if I can just prop it in here. I got it in there, up on that steering uh, thing. What is that steering thing called? Steering linkage. I got a, I can't see. Looks like it's right around here somewhere. Trying to do this without being able to see is, it's quite a challenge. Nice and hand tight. My hands are covered in grease. Let's see if getting a, a rag on it. Oh yeah, that's a much better, much better grip with a rag on it. Just hand tighten. There we go. Whew. Filter is on. Let's get these other pieces back together. The pieces that I shouldn't have taken off. This little plastic piece here, there. There's this other plastic piece here. Don't know what it is. Boy, I should not have taken this off. It's this lip here. There we go, there we go. Okay, nice snaps back on. Tighten these down so they're snug. There's that one way down there. I got an extension on an extension. Does this just pop off? Yeah, this just pops off. Actually, the old one, uh, this that it has some kind of carbon buildup around the outside and it looks like it's just a washer so i'm wondering if this one's going to be better it's whatever kind of weird coating they have around the outside i think wiping it down is going to be a good thing so let's get this wet wiped down and stick that on give this a good wipe and be careful really careful not to cross thread it which is easier said than done Let's torque down the oil drain plug to 11 foot pounds. Yep, that fits. All right. Let's get these jack stands out of the way. And I'm gonna lower it just so that it's level. Right about there. It should take five quarts. There's two. I'm not sure if it's five quarts from empty or if it's five quart from change. That's five. No, that's four. And 
There's just a nib. So this looks like it's gonna be about four and a half after I run it. So there's a half. Yep, it looks like half a quart. Check it and see how it get that. It went down almost to another quart to fill. So that's what I mean when you run it, it gets all the air bubbles out and you need to add more. It's almost gonna take another full quart. It's more than five quarts. There's half. Quarter. And then it looks like another quarter of a quart. Yeah, I can actually even use probably another half quart. All right, let's clean up, put all the tools away, and we'll be done. I need to buy some more oil. So, is it worth doing your own oil? with all the frustration and the time it took and everything else, probably like three hours. I don't think it's worth it. Now, if you take it to a regular mechanic, he'll probably do a pretty good job. I'm not a regular mechanic. I'm not even a mechanic. Thanks for watching my oil change video. If you like this video and you wanna see some more of me just totally screwing up and getting the wrong parts and having to run to the auto shop and dealer, I'll add a link to uh, a couple more videos the end of this one. Is it over here? Is it over here?